We've always had room in our hearts for film and TV Not just on Netflix, but tape and disc and theaters I also God forbid that they take it all away And leave us nothing to broadcast to loyal listeners We'll binge watch every single movie So you don't have to, what else are we here for? Coming to you every week, listen to us while you're busy Luckily, we forgot to grow up. Hey, everybody, it's Craig. Hey, it's Scott. Hey, it's Andrew. Welcome to episode number 64 of the Forgot to Grow Up podcast. On this week's episode, we're going to switch some stuff up. It's uh, it's that weird spot between Christmas and New Year's. And uh, really, who has time to listen to the Forgot to Grow Up guys? All of you, obviously. Um, so we're going to talk about the Transformers movies. And that's it. Except for Bumblebee. Except for Bumblebee. Yeah, probably well, I mean, we'll probably talk about week. we'll probably talk about expectations for it or something. I don't know, or we maybe we'll just leave it entirely yeah. out. We don't plan episodes. You guys listen. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'll keen listeners will note that this is uh, this will be the first time in a long time that everybody's favorite segment WWWTW is uh, is missing, uh, but it will return at some point. I'm sure. We'll see. Uh, but Transformers movies. That's all I got to say about that. Yep. And that's all take I have from, to say about that. You gotta take it from here, Andrew. Okay, well, as the universe knows, I love me some Transformers. I love Transformers. That's all I have to say about well. that. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Thanks for tuning Thanks in this week, guys. guys. <laughs> no, like honestly, the first time I saw a poster for one, I was at the Niagara Falls Cineplex. And I saw the poster outside. I forget what I went to see. It was probably something stupid. Obviously, we were in high school. And I remember looking at it and being like, what the fuck? Why are they making a Transformers movie? How are they even going to make that work? Like, Stop motion animation. I I saw the 1980-something Transformers movie. And the only good thing about that is the song that came from it. Like, it was so catchy. But the movie was fucking terrible. It was just that bad. It was so bad. I will defend actually the '80s one. To be honest, it was so bad. It's got some highlights over, especially structure, like story structure wise. Over Ultra Magnus was a punk bitch. I said it. Ultra Magnus was a punk bitch. I can't remember which one that was. I haven't watched that movie in like. Oh, that's oh, that's like the military leader of the Autobots. He was the second. He was like the second prime. You have to tell me what car he was. He was, I think he was like a carrier. I think it was like a car carrier. Okay. If I remember correctly. That's vaguely like one, Like one of the ones that like deliver cars to dealerships, you know? So he was a, yeah. I think that's he was what he was. Some type of truck. Yeah. Okay. Just but he was just a punk wonderful. bitch. But I'll be honest, I would love to fucking see him in a Transformers movie. Just to see I don't care. Do I don't it. care if it's like an origin story, like Bumblebee, or if it's Transformers Six. <laughs> like, just well, I think uh, we're going down what? the Bumblebee route now. Like, that, I think that's booted off like a semi-new yeah. universe. I don't care line. how they give it to me, but I would fucking love to see an Ultra Mag, like Ultra Magnus, to show up, just well, to see like what he looks like if he looked at anything like Prime. Or if like they fuse together somehow because of fucking combiners would be sweet. I think I bring that shit in. Love me Transformers. Anyways, I remember looking at the poster and being like, "What the fuck? How are they gonna do this?" And then like the next time I went to the movies, they hit you with that trailer, and I was like, "Oh shit! Megatron looks like he has actual human flesh face. What is going on? Are they like part fleshy? Like is that a thing?" It was not a thing. He was 100% robot. Just shiny. <laughs> 200% in disguise. But he was there. And I was yes, like, was. what the fuck? This is amazing. I was so pumped. And I hadn't even seen the movie yet. I was just so pumped. I'll have to admit, I was definitely pumped for the first one. And I enjoyed the first one when I saw it at the time. I have not rewatched it in quite a while because... They all blend together, to be honest, a little bit. That's my problem with the first Is that a three. bad thing, though? Like, when there's five of them, is the fact that they blend together really a bad thing? Well, when they're two hours each, I'm just like, well... Well, trans- I'm to pretty rewatch sure, like, Transformers Age of Extinction is, like, three hours long. That's, that's not helping their own Fact case. Fact-checking. Like, it's funny, because I'll sit and I'll, I'll watch Avengers 
Infinity War any day of the week, to be honest. But See, I'm the opposite. Sit... I could not watch that movie any day of the week, but Transformers? Oh, fuck yes. See, Transformers, I just couldn't... Like, I don't know what it is. There's certain parts to it just, like... It's slow in certain parts. Like, the, in between them actually doing stuff, it's just, like, it drags. And it's like, well, why does, does this need to be two hours for you guys to sit around for a while not doing okay, anything? Here, here's my big issue with it, okay? Two hours and 45 minutes. Okay. That's three hours. <laughs> We That's round enough, up by yeah. half hours here. <laughs> <laughs> we Do round we? up by half hours? I am not on board with that. Nope. <laughs> if, it, nope. if it is longer than two and a half hours, it is a three-hour movie. <laughs> okay, if if I can't... Like, if I have to say that movies that come out in April are not summer movies, or May are not summer movies, I cannot say that two and a half hour movies are three-hour movies. I have, to, I have to have some semblance of sanity in my in my deliverance. However, I will say that the Transformers movies focused way too much on attractive women. Well, that happens when you get Michael Bay as a director. Like, attractive and if they were like explains. legitimate prominent, if they were legitimate prominent characters in most of them, I would be totally fine with it. 100% fine. Megan Fox does not do anything other than show off her abdomen. Yeah. Like, that like is true. in the first in the first one, she hooks up Bumblebee to a tow truck and pulls him around so he can sh- shoot some people. I thought you were going to be okay. the one defending them, and I was going to attack them. I'm not, I don't know how to agree with attacking them because I agree with it. <laughs> I'm on like, board too. I don't like these movies at all. Like there was no like the first the first three like Megan Fox just didn't do anything. She was just there. Was she in all? Th- she, or the fir- I think she was only in the first, the first two. two. The first okay. two she was there. Yeah. And then the third one, yeah, the third one, that's when they introduced, like, the Aussie supermodel, right? Yeah, who's just in that one. Uh, in why? One what did she do? Up. Like, what did she do? She worked at the place where they were developing the new ones. She got sweaty and dirty. Okay, welcome to Chicago. <laughs> like, what's what's going on? What is she doing? Man, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't tell you. You're the one who really likes like, these ones. <laughs> I like the movies. I don't I don't need those, okay? <laughs> then you move on to Age of Extinction, and you're like, okay, at least it's not a love interest, okay? Yep. It's it's Kate Yeager. It's his daughter. Yeah, but, but why the she's fuck got was a she love there, interest. too? She's got a love interest. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> they even go as far as to throw in the scene about her being underage but it being legal in that state he's got that card made yeah the, with the the romeo juliet law in his wallet why was that a thing why did they need that i super don't know creepy. to tell you <laughs> super creepy super especially creepy. when they are when they already come out and say she's underage and she's a minor Sounds and you're like, like oh by somebody, the way she's by the way she's a smoke show somebody wanted to make somebody want to make themselves feel a lot better about it that's what something. I heard on another Maybe podcast not something talking about related. This. They're like, one of the producers definitely was dating a 17-year-old. Yeah. And they needed <laughs> to put it into a movie to make somebody, it okay with society. <laughs> somebody was like, like, I need to feel better about what I'm doing right now. Exactly. <laughs> like, literally, like, what was the point? Like, all it did was make everyone feel creepy because they're like, oh, she's attractive. Uh, she's 17 in the movie. Uh, <laughs> I can't look at shit like that. Like, no. it just, it makes me so uncomfortable. Like, we've talked about it before. I hate when they have, like, you know, attractive any gender high school kids on TV and movies, and they're like, oh, yeah, now we're going to go make out, and now we got to dry hump a little bit, and they got to lead into, like, and insinuate that there's a sex scene. Why? They're high school students. Why? I told you. This uh, is like, a who's, movie now. Who's getting uh, off on this? That's what I'm calling this? it. I have not seen this movie, just so everyone's aware. I, okay, it's, they, don't, they don't show any of that stuff. I lost track they of just, which one we're. Uh, I lost track of which one we're talking about. To be honest, with you. We're, right now we're just talk, talking. We're just talking okay, about the women. Definitely, but they redeem themselves. They redeem themselves in Transformers last night. They mm. give you an attractive woman. However, she is a very crucial part in the story. Because you can't just come out and be like, "Oh yeah, by the way, Kate Yeager, your new hero of this franchise." He just happens to be related to Merlin, and that's why he's sucked in and has to go help. No, 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 that didn't happen. He's yeah, related he to Arthur to be, somehow. He happens to, exactly. That's what I mean. It's just like, <laughs> but they need the staff. He can't wield the staff. That's the thing. Yeah, but he can wield the other thing, and the thing can attach to his arm. The cool I've only seen amulet thing that, that, that turned into a sword. I can't defend it that much. <laughs> oh, it was so good. But then they hit you with that super awkward, uncomfortable. 
young girl whose makeup is perfect. She's the one who I was talking about from uh, Instant Family as well, which is another oh, Marky it's... Mark movie. Okay. The one who I'm like, God damn it, she's 17. Why are you focusing on? Like, why are you showing her off? It's super weird. Hollywood, what the fuck is wrong with you? Okay? Get your head out of your butts. Be good people. Make, make good, good movies. movies. Obviously. <laughs> make more Transformers movies without focusing on teenagers. Back to Transformers 1, though. Because <laughs> so <laughs> oh, far... No, we're starting over again. Okay. <laughs> well, I haven't talked about the story, right? I've exclusively <laughs> spoken about the women and how it was unnecessary yep. to be like, here's attractive women who don't do the story. Give them something to do, you know? Make, make them, like, make one of them the heroine. I think every, like, super creepy dude who's just sitting at home is like, Duh, yeah, Transformers, <laughs> would be psyched about, like, a, a woman hero, would they not? Because they'd be like, fuck yeah, it would be a yeah. Wonder Woman-like yeah. thing, right? That's a tough one to say, because Wonder Woman was strongly, like, a female demographic seeing it. Uh, and not, <clears throat> not that men didn't see it, but at the same no, not, time... No, not, I'm not talking the movie. I'm talking Wonder Woman in general. Like, as a comic strip and the cartoons, like, she was like a busty buxom babe, right? But she's yeah. powerful as all tits. She kicking is ass. an international women's ambassador for the UN. Yes. Just kicking this ass. This fictional character. Yes. In this real fictional life, character. She's actually, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> she's got a chair at the UN. That's a thing. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I don't know yeah. if it's a natural chair. It might be a metaphorical one. But she's, she doesn't she's need got a thing. chair. Does she, she need to sit down? She is part of the UN <laughs> more goddess. than any of us at this podcast definitely are. <laughs> 100%. But, like, Guys dig it because she was a smoke show in the comics, right? So, like, I feel like they could have given you a strong heroine in Transformers 2. They didn't need to focus on just being some attractive women who were just there for the sake of being there. Not that Sam Witwicky did much either. Like, yeah, no, he, he was just, like, too. he just yelled the whole time, really. Like, and did he not around, have a volume knob? I loved it, bit. though. <laughs> I loved it, but he didn't, he didn't really need to be there either. The Transformers could have just done their own shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like, they could have hacked well, into the internet and just solved the this, all these problems themselves. That disappoints me most about these movies, that it's like, you follow all these humans, and I get we're supposed to, you know, relate to them, and, you know, I'm not saying you can't have humans in this, they're on Earth, but, like, like I wanted the story to focus more on the Autobots doing something and needing the humans to do stuff because they can't fit into certain buildings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> stuff like cool. that. Because that's what be humans cool. are useful for, is going into human places. Other than that, like, we're not useful for running across building tops like Shia LaBeouf pretends to do that's like, true i don't you know i sure mean? shit don't do that like we sh no like protecting big metal boxes that's meant for transformers not yeah. for scrawny shia labeouf <laughs> like <true. laughs> okay there there were some issues with these movies i'm not totally some. gonna defend them <laughs> there is many many issues with these movies the length is your beginning point like, fuck you, man. Not, fuck you. That is the very first time I ever no. sat. I've said it on this podcast before, and I'll say it again. That is the first time I've ever sat in a movie theater and gone, shit, this movie's long, and only been halfway through. And I saw Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, man. These movies were fantastic. However, there's a lot of holes. Like, the fact that all of these different stories are happening all at the same time time like megatron apparently had five different plans going all at the same time oh there's no continuity between the movies none whatsoever. <laughs> which i am willing to accept because i think a lot of them it was just we weren't planning on making another transformers movie it was just one and done people bought tickets money. <laughs> they did make, make a lot of money one. i'll give them that <laughs> so they kept making them and I'm, I'm willing to forego it however like there's too much going on and Optimus Prime really was the bad guy of all of them because Megatron was just trying to save his planet. He was that's it. His well, whole goal was to save his people. Well, it was the means by which he was trying to go about it, which was destroying Earth. <laughs> well, I mean, at f like in the first one it wasn't so much destroying Earth, it was just getting the cube. He wanted well, the cube. You wa didn't you want to use the cube though to turn Earth into the new Cybertron? Because isn't so, in the though. first one it's destroyed, like or it's gone. It's not like a thing anymore in the first one. Like Cybertron's gone. Cybertron's gone. Well, no, Cybertron's like dying. In the first so he one, needs it the, he dying. needs the cube to create to create the life because the cube got like cast out into space. Okay. The second one, they want to blow up the sun to harness the energon from it, 
so then they can go. This is all very logical. Save Cybertron. Logical. I like it. Yep. It is <laughs> if you know Transformers. <laughs> well, all I was thinking was like, well, I don't apply logic to things that involve transforming machines, so I do. <laughs> Let, let's. It's a very real possibility. <laughs> Ho- hopefully but- <laughs> not like have you seen you what want- uh what boston dynamics is doing do you do yeah, we I'm really want that terminator <laughs> do we really want terminator transformers that's what i'm saying yes please like sign me up can we want- make them all talk like arnold schwarzenegger we'll get some speech synthesizers it'll be great Duh, i'm optimus prime i am a chopper they don't have to have names sometimes he's a chopper and sometimes <laughs> he's not sometimes he'll get back to being a chopper get out he he would literally be like Turbo Man. Yep. <laughs> and instead of saying like transform, it would be Turbo Time. And then he'd turn into his chopper. But do we really need Terminator Transformers? No. Yes. We don't need cars rolling up on you that turn into just machine terrifying things that are buff and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because deep down inside, I'd be like, fuck yeah, it's Arnold. Well, and I'd die. I would be dead. This is a Terminator. I wouldn't even be able to finish watching Transformers 7, which would just bum me out. Which will be a documentary. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> How they made the, the, I don't even know what you call it, the terms formers. Ter- Transinators? Terms- no, terms- we're not going to call it Transinators. Formers. I don't like that. I don't like nope. terms formers. Moving on from Transformers 1, yep. though, we're heading <laughs> wow, to Transformers right. 2, where they destroy the Energon, or they're trying to destroy the sun to make the Energon. Yes. Sorry. Don't so that way they can, we'll they, can bring, yeah, they can bring Cybertron back to life. Transformers 3, that's when they're trying to get the space bridge, like activate all the space bridges. Okay. That they were trying to do, like, do before. They were trying to bring the space bridges to Earth, but they don't let, tell you that's exactly what the plan was. They try to do that so that way they can like turn Earth into Cybertron by just like fusing them via the space bridge. So Cybertron's like right there to take everything. Pretty cool to me. Total bullshit. (laughs) There's no way that plane was going. Well, I never get why it's like we got to bring one planet to another planet. That's that's the best plan that we could come up with. Like, see, I don't see why. Like, you guys are a bunch of freaking robots. Why didn't they just take over the planet? Yeah, like there's so many better options. I feel like than... every, why does why didn't just every Decepticon just come to Earth? Yeah, there's so many be- different options but, they could have gone with. <laughs> then you move on to Transformers Four, which is after the Battle of Chicago, which is when all Transformers are outlawed. Yeah, which is like just it was just such like ugh, so good. They bring it in. They bring they bring in fucking what's his face? That's that comedian from Deadpool. T J Miller. Yeah, him. I fucking hate him so much. He's also they bring him in, and then they kill him within like twenty five minutes of the movie, and I'm like, yes, you, yeah, Clover- fried you, son of a bitch. Cloverfield's not your movie, then. No, <laughs> it, it never was. Transformers are get with the story, but then Optimus Prime comes back, like he's dying, he's injured, and they break, like he gets saved by Mark Wahlberg, and then he upgrades himself somehow, which that part didn't make sense. Why did he scan a shitty old rusted truck if he was falling apart when he could just scan a new one and get pimped out automatically? And why did he scan a truck? Why couldn't he just scan anything big? And that's another thing. I can't tell you the answers to these questions. But that's a pretty cool fight. It, this one wasn't my favorite. Like, the end fight was was a little too influenced by human activity. And the end fights are really, like, my favorite part of the Transformers movies. Like the first, the first no, ones, <laughs> yeah. Like the first fight wasn't that great. It was watching Optimus and Megatron fight, but nothing kind of like dancing. nothing really cool happened. And then Sam just fried Megatron, whatever. But then the second one comes along, and the final fight is amazing. Where Optimus is like dead, and then they bring him back to life, and then Jetfire, who's this old British guy, apparently. He's just like, oh, take my heart, and gives it, you know, rips it out and gives his body to Prime, making his booster pack, which I loved because growing up with my Transformers cartoons, his trailer was always like his extra armor. Yeah. yeah. So it was cool um, to see them finally give him his trailer with his extra armor. Yep. It just it took two and a half hours to get to that point. So <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> Way too long. 
<laughs> Fall away, dude. Fuck you guys. Can so he you, gets his booster you, pack. He, he flies up to the pyramids. Yeah, he flies up to the pyramids. The pyramids. The pyramids. Wow. Yeah. He flies up to the exclamation points. <laughs> takes a takes a demolisher. Pretty fucking sweet. But then he's got to take out the fall, and he's got to take out Megatron. So what does he do? He fights them. And what does he do? He fucking wins. Okay. He just like in his one liners. Like you can't beat the Optimus Prime Peter Cullen one liners. No, they're like good. when he, when he when he kills the fallen. Okay, the guy's That's name is the fallen. Scene. I like okay? to watch it on YouTube. Sometimes. He he punches out the guy's minutes. heart, punches fist through the heart, and he's like, "I rise," squishes it, and he's like, "You fall," and you're like, "Yes." That's a great play on the fact that his name is fallen, and you just rose from the dead. Yeah, no. But, like- I'm not arguing that the endings of some oh. of these are great. It just takes too long of nothing to get to them. And I have a problem with I'm like, okay, I'll okay. just watch this 10 minutes but then on YouTube later. Transformers 3, though. Like, that movie is action-packed from start to finish. I couldn't tell you one thing that happens in it. <laughs> from tits to toes, that movie is just stuffed with action. That's the but you get to the I final battle. The theaters. But you get to the final fight, not even like the final full war battle where there's taken out Decepticons left, right, and center. The final battle was Optimus Prime versus Sentinel Prime versus Megatron. Because Megatron can't do that shit himself, apparently. He gets killed when, it's, when he's by himself. So instead, he has to fight with somebody and him. So they fight. Sentinel Prime's about to fucking kill Optimus. He's, lost, he's cut off Optimus' arm at this point. Yeah. He's about to just end his life. And Megatron's like, hey, fuck you. A, I kill Optimus Prime. B, you tried to kill me, you son of a bitch. So now he, now he's trying to take out Sentinel Prime. Fucking, fucking shoots him. Toasty. Okay. Now Optimus Prime has to end the day. He kills him, and then he kills Megatron. And the way he does it, with one fucking arm, is he hooks like his axe on the bottom of Megatron's throat and just like rips his head out. Just dunzo, just full aggression with one arm. So cool. My inner child was like, ah! And then my man was like, ah! Which is amazing. No, that was a good scene, but again, <laughs> two hours and 40 minutes to get to it. <laughs> the final fight scene, like I said, in Transformers 4 was too influenced by human activity. But then you get to Transformers 5, and the final fight scene is just super lame. But it's fucking awesome. At the same time, because Optimus Prime literally just kicks Megatron out the wall of, like, of the Cybertron ship thing. Yeah, it's, it's like, hard to explain. We were brothers, he's like, we were brothers once, on. and then Optimus Prime's like, not anymore, and just fucking kicks him out of the, like, out of it. Yeah. Let's gravity do that shit. It was yeah. sweet. It was good. My one, my biggest problem with the fifth, or that, the, the last night, is... Something that I didn't even notice, I got pointed out to me, and as soon as I noticed it, I could not watch that movie again. And that they don't know how to stick to an aspect ratio. Um, oh, the size, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're like watching a scene, and between shots, between just cuts in a scene, they'll switch between like four different aspect ratios. And as soon as someone, like I heard this on a YouTube video, and as soon as I saw it in the, the movie... It gave me a headache trying to watch it. Cause was this for characters or was this for like things? It's like no, it's just the sh- the shooting like how the movie formats come. In. So it's the aspect okay. ratio on the screen, right? So that's like whether it's full screen or like widescreen, and okay. there's like two other types. Well, yeah, there's and they'll switch between the four of them. Like most movies stick to like just full screen for the movie, and then maybe switch once or twice. But this one will switch in one scene between just shots. It'll switch between a full screen to a wide screen to them to like some modified screen because i don't know what they're all called and like in between the well, muscle, that's, that's the, the michael space. bay effect it's where just, they're like our movies aren't really that good but here's a bunch of explosions to distract you from everything else it's just very distracting once you see that because you're like oh my god there's all this like because the it changes how much of the screen you're seeing right and so like the different black panels coming along from the sides in between just like oh he's looking at freaking megatron and he switches just a shot and it's now just widescreen it's just very distracting to me that's all and it's only fair. happened because somebody else pointed it out to me and it drew, like literally just drives me insane now because i'm like that's that's fair weird. well that's like for me my like my biggest thing and it's not even anything to do with the storyline it's just that 
when they try to slow down the transform transformation to make it look sweet, because it fucking does. Yeah. You can't tell me it doesn't look cool. It looks so cool. However, like two times they w- slow it down. Yeah. <laughs> when they when they transform like that, it's like and like it's real time. It just takes them forever. Yet Optimus Prime can fucking drive off of an airplane, turn into a robot midair, run two steps, and turn into a truck within half a second. Yet when he's in park, it takes forever for him to turn back into a robot. That shit bugs me. Yeah. But then also sometimes when they're talking to a human, like the size doesn't add up. Like Peterbilt trucks are fucking huge. But Optimus Prime is three times as big as a Peterbilt truck. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck does that work? No one notices. It's fine. Yeah, no, the size consistency in them drives is a little ridiculous sometimes, too. I agree. Like, because sometimes they can't fit into a room, but then other times they can. And it's like, well, okay. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> Just pick a size, leave it on that. <laughs> it's called a plot device. <laughs> Yeah, and they just yeah, there's just too much too much going on in all these ones. That's why like I'd, I'm not gonna argue that they have some good cool things like cool transformer scenes, but like a lot of it also comes down to like none of them actually like they don't look that much like they should. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that's fair. They're doing a better job in this new one. Like Bumblebee looks a little bit more like it's a little bit more like when they're actual robots. They look like they have car parts still yeah. on them as opposed to just changing yeah. and having, you know, one window on his nipple for Optimus, <laughs> right? Like a couple windows. Yeah. Like, I want a little more than that. You know, you don't want to, like, like I want to realistically look like it's actually just transforming, not just, oh, this is some block of things that can change into different shapes. And it's like, well, that's yeah. less interesting than my only thing with that. And two. I do love the look of it. I will agree with you. Like, if they made a movie exclusively like on cybertron with that like with those looks yeah that would be sweet but it looks too fake to me it like it looks too animated and i don't know if it's going to change in the actual movie but which i hope it does but cybertron just it looks animated as opposed to being like a hologram or like a flashback or something like it looks like just a heavily animated cartoon I'm try- I haven't seen it yet, so I'm trying and I'm trying to think of the trailer. I haven't watched it in a couple months, so I'm- I can't remember what Cybertron looks like in the new Bumblebee one. So I'll it looks pretty cool. It looks like like fresh from the cartoons, and they use it like all like a lot of like the, the famous, well known characters. And that's what I want. In this, <laughs> but- I'm not a big deep co- like I don't know Transformers that well. I still can't name half like, the ones that are in the, the one yeah. Michael Bay ones. My <laughs> only thing with it though is. How like I get that it's big for fans, and I know they're do- using this as a reboot to get like new people interested, and also Especially just after like they beat cur- the former uh, franchise to a pulp, and left it bleeding no, on the side of the road. No point in Ten beating a dead horse. Later, they did get to the point where they started to mix in Arthurian legends. So yep. that that is yep. that is a like it took Stargate SG One, uh, the longest last like running sci fi show nine years to get to that point um so <laughs> well okay well n- now i gotta pull it up to see when like what was it 2007 or something like that the first transformers movie came out i think so oh that's fair so they might have yeah that's a good point that might have been at like 10 years by then so yeah they, they ran the course <laughs> let's see because that would have been the fifth one yeah no that adds up because every it's about every two years you get one so yeah well yeah, it was 2007. So, yeah, it took 10 years. Yeah, so that's fair. That's fair. I'll yeah. give them that. It takes <laughs> 10 years. It takes 10 years of a franchise before they have to get to Arthurian Legends. Yep. Yep. That's, that's just science at this point. That is great. I yeah. like that. Uh, now I have to go look at other ones because I'm like, did, did, did Smallville go Arthurian at any point? <laughs> I know they went Banshee. Like, they went back to old Celtic myths, so. Yeah. yeah, but who does that? Do the ninth that? or tenth season. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> but uh, no, like I, I don't. I know that they're doing it for that reason, but I just, I don't like it. Considering I'm looking at it, I'm like, how the fuck did you go from looking like that to looking like you did in the other Transformers movies? There's no reason to change like that. And why the fuck would they? Like, why would they look like Earth vehicles and Earth stuff? Like, why would? Was it? Why would Soundwave? still be a fucking like cassette player 
on Cybertron. Because what are well, you going to be an iPod? I'm hoping they answer he, he that would be anything in the movie when we go see it, which we'll talk about in a, I believe our next episode. If I got well in the in the trailer it. in the trailer he opens up his chest, and then he's like, and sh- and busts out Savage like the little I think that was his name. I can't remember. Is it the Savage? The, the, yeah, the them. tiger thing. Anyway, there's two. Of not them. not laser beak. The the tiger thing. The puma. Yeah, I know what you're talking or about. I just whatever don't the fuck the it name. was. My dad actually had those. Yeah. When, we were, when I was younger, he had the yeah. freaking thing. The cassette popped out. Had the little mini guys. It was cool. Yeah. But that was. But then, name. like, they use that. They use Savage or whatever the fuck his name is. They use him in Transformers Two. They use him. Like he's the thing that breaks in and steals the piece. Like yeah, the one, the piece of the All Star. This one's a reboot. Like. <sighs> It's I don't like reboots. It's called that a are soft some... reboot because people know what Bumblebee's name is. That's all. The, that's I the don't, same thing. I don't like soft reboots when there's already like something for me to base it off of. Like that's just like how they're talking about how apparently Wonder Woman eighty four is supposed to be a soft reboot for the DC universe. How the fuck does that work when it happens before movies that already exist? Doesn't it? Doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. Just scrap the shit and wait five years and do it again. Well, see, just I, do it. I, just I kind of agree. Well, like, or don't. Bumblebee should have waited a slightly longer. I agree. Yeah, not the like, next fucking year. <laughs> it's, it's, let it. Let us simmer down. Yeah, no, I agree. But they didn't. <laughs> it's out. We'll see it next week. These motherfuckers. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that, though. We all done with Transformers, then? I think I think we're all done with Transformers That's, this week, that's boys. That's all I got. It wasn't a whole lot of anything. Absolutely not. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Yeah. Enjoy. We'll see you in the new year, I guess. Depending on when you listen to this. Yeah. Absolutely. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Bye.